Hey y'all, um, wow, I just got my first full day done, um, going out on the, in the country of Ecuador, and, um, my heart is so full and burdened and passion and, um, all those different things. Um, we started out our day going to the headquarters of Compassion International here in Ecuador, and that was amazing. It was a three, three-story building that just had office after office after office. I'm telling y'all, this is a well-oiled machine. The way they have it working, the way the organization, the enthusiasm, the passion, the I mean, I, I can't even say enough um, about the organization itself. It's just incredible. Something that I am honored to represent um, to you here on the blog, but to events where I go speak, and um, I, I, I can't say enough. Um, after that, we went on to one of the projects, and the way it works here is a church partners with Compassion, and then they have what they call a project, and all of these kids come to the project. This pro project we went to today had about 260-some-odd kids, and um, these aren't orphans. These are kids with mom and, moms and dads that cannot make ends meet. And um, <laughs> the joy on those kids' faces, and we, didn't, we weren't bringing them anything, you know, in the beginning. We were just there visiting them. And, I mean, they ran after us to hug us and love on us like we were their parent. I mean, I, I was just like, I don't deserve your love like this. What, what, what is all this about? Um, but it's just these kids understand at such a small age what the sponsors are affording them by um, paying their sponsorship every month, their health care, their um, food, their clothing, their medical, their, I, I mean, just spiritually. I mean, it just goes on and on. Um, and these kids are, are just three and four steps above appreciation. I mean, it just is incredible. They don't have hardly the, short, the shirt on their back. And yet they were just loving and kissing and hugging and please don't go, please don't go. I mean, just, uh, it absolutely killed me. And I'm not that much of a crier. So then, after we did that, they took us on a home visit where we got to um, go into um, a sponsored child's home to see what it's like. <sighs> to say they were poor or they lived in poverty is such an incredible understatement. I, I have never, ever, ever seen anything like this. Um, I mean, Ecuador has like October through, I don't know, it's really long, maybe March or April is their rainy season. And, and they just had a tin roof. They did have concrete walls, but I mean, one tiny room had two um, full-size beds that five people slept in. And then I, I didn't bring my thing to download all the pictures, but I'll do that later, uh, you know, next week. But um, I know it's getting loud because there's a party going on, but sorry. But um, I, I just, and, and, and y'all, God took me to a home visit where this home had a physically disabled child. Was that a coincidence with with all that I have been doing lately at, at Brownsville School? No way! God took me to that home that had a disabled child for a, a particular purpose. Y'all, these are not just kids that are um, perfect in sight. And, 
and, and their bodies aren't perfect. Some of these kids have major issues. And, um, and through the sponsor and through Compassion's help, this little kid has had multiple surgeries and, and I couldn't understand the mama to know exactly what his, um, uh, his uh, 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 disability was. But, oh, he was tiny. He was this big, um, muy poco. I think is the word and um, he was 13 years old and so sweet and tried so hard to communicate even if he knew our language he couldn't communicate but he just wanted to love and he was so proud of his little house and um, and y'all it, it, it was it was nasty it smelled um, you know there was dogs and cats everywhere it was unclean um, it it was really, really sad, but they were so proud of it, and they were so happy to take us into their home. I was overwhelmed, I, I, and the, the thing that I'm having a hard time with is how, why has God chosen me to sit in a beautiful home, to be so blessed, to have three cars, um, four children, um, I, I just I can't even say enough about how much I am blessed why did God just choose to put me in that kind of blessing and these little kids in this kind of poverty all I can come to grips with right now is that God has blessed me for a reason and that reason is to use those blessings to do something about someone that doesn't have that particular blessing. Now, you know, a lot of us in America, we have all these blessings of tangible, physical things. But the United States, I think, is barren of spiritually, spir being spiritually blessed. Not because God's not willing, but because we're not willing to open up and see what He can do in our hearts. These kids, these families that are a part of Compassion's program going on here, they have nothing. They are not physically blessed, but they are spiritually blessed. There is nothing that I can explain except joy on these people's faces. It's incredible. It is incredible. So. So after one night, what do I know from this day? Or after one day, what do I know right now? I know that God has given me a voice. He has blessed me in such a way that I must make this mission known. I must take this passion that He's given in my heart. And it's been building up for three and four years now. Um, and I see it come into fruition, and I want to do something about it. You can do something about it, too. You can go to my website, speakingthroughme.com, click on the Compassion Child, and you can sponsor someone tonight, and you can make a difference in someone's life. I have four sponsored children, one for each one of my kids. Is that extreme? Yeah, I think so. But I know how blessed I am monetarily, physically, um, materially, all of those things. And if I can make a difference in just a couple of kids' lives, I want to do it. I'm not asking you to sponsor the way I have, but I put some skin into the game, and so I'm asking you to do that, too. Go to my website and sponsor a kid. All right, tomorrow is another great day, and I'm excited to tell you more about it. Um, oh, so many thoughts going to, on. I, I need to journal this. All right, I love y'all. I hope you've had a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.